remember how we were talking about the ox pickers just now? And look at there's one actually sitting on the horn of this one. So Samson, but let me get back to you um, and I'll see if I can figure out how much grass exactly a fully grown buffalo can eat. Look at that Red Bull ox picker. What a cool shot that is sitting on his horn and probably feeding on the ticks that's sitting around the horns there. You can imagine there's some crevices and so that the ticks get in that the buffalo can't scratch off himself. <laughs> quite funny that uh, Oxbeck has to hold on quite a bumpy ride. Look at that. Oh, look at the one on the left hand side there. It sort of looks like an old female. You can see the horns are quite thin, doesn't have that big boss. But she's got a broken horn on the other side there. Oh my goodness, that must have been painful. But you can even see the fur and how skinny she is. She must be quite old. Oh, there's a red-billed ox picker that just flew to her as well. See, there's on her back. And he's looking around, seeing if he can see any ticks or so. And going straight for her horns and onto her face there. Look at that. You can see those horns have been had a lot of wear and tear on them. And going back to the back again. <laughs> the red bull ox pickers obviously have quite a few clients coming around in this uh, herd for them to come and clean and so. So uh, we were talking earlier about um, how they will be maybe feeding on the blood of some animals if they have an injury, in which case they, they are parasitic. But in this case, where we can't see any scars or so, they actually have a symbiotic relationship with these buffalo. So they obviously get food by feeding on the ticks that have the blood inside them, and the buffalo get rid of pesky parasites. But not only that, these red bull octopus, there is another one that flew in between them. Not only that, they also are extra eyes that can keep a lookout for predators.